farmers, trust is everything. At Genesis Fertilizers, we're not just proposing to build a facility, we're building a future designed for you. With real progress already underway, we're closer to providing Western Canadian farmers with a reliable, locally produced fertilizer supply. Now is the time to take control of your farm's future. Learn more at genesisfertilizers.com slash credibility. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Real Agriculture. Today I'm down in Mount Bridges, Ontario, and I'm talking tile drainage with Larry Cohen here at Chimo Farms. Larry, how's it going? It's going good. Oh, going well, good. you're a busy man. I, I know uh, you, you've always got some crops in the ground here, but you got some other folks doing some work here. Um, let's talk tile drainage. Um, this field was tiled in 1962, 105 acres. Um, it's 2024. You're retiling it. Why now? Well, in 62, basically what happened was the mains that were right sized for the time and some of the laterals. It was a very random type of tile job, uh, which has worked for many years. The issue is that over time, we seem to be getting bigger and heavier rains and all the water runs to the hollows. And even though there's a tile drain under that hollow, it seals off and we don't get the water moving and we lose crop. Yeah. So it's time to solve some of that. We've been tiling 150 acres each year for about the, oh, about the last uh, seven or eight years now. Yeah, yeah. So this is just the next con stage. continuing on. Yeah. I want to talk about ROI and maybe you can talk about that from a perspective of, of a piece that you tiled about, retiled about eight years ago. Um, you know, ROI from you, it's got to, it, it comes down to yield, right? Right. Um, and we've got, uh, lots of proof of uh, the far 15 acres of this field was tiled seven or eight years ago. Every time we hit that line, the corn yield jumps up 30 bushel, the bean yields jump up 10. So with, those, with that kind of yield improvement overall, um, we're talking a payback to the expense, probably a 10-year payback, yeah. mm -hmm. so, yeah. which is pretty good. Now, every, uh, every field is different when it comes to tiling. Um, talk about this one, some of the opportunities and challenges. I, I see some, uh, some main work being done down here. Yeah, well, you always have to have a good outlet if you're going to put all this tile in the ground. So that machine uh, that's working up there, they're putting a 14-inch main in, and when it gets down here, it's going to be a 12, and then it'll branch off in this 25 acres here with 10-inch and uh, we're tiling, because this is sandy loam ground, uh, we tile every 30 feet. You get into heavier ground, guys are doing 23, 25 feet apart. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but here, 30 here seems to be adequate for us. Okay, Larry, you're working with McCutcheon Drainage. Um, yeah. They've done the survey. They do a, uh, that, that business has changed a lot over the years. Uh, what, are, what are they seeing? What are they telling you need to get done? So what they do is they run the whole field up and down with their four-wheeler and the GPS unit on it. So they get all the topography and they figure out, uh, you know, where all the low spots are, where the mains are going to have to run, how, how long the laterals can be with the photography. And whatever, whatever they come up with, that's, we go with that because yeah. they're the experts, right? Now we see some variability here. How do you how do you tackle that? So this this 105 acres here, there's probably 70 acres that uh, does not require filter on the on the tile, and there'll be 35 acres that require uh, filter to stop the sand from going into the tile. So, um, and they figure all that out. So 35 acres to take filter tile. And with, which is filter cloth around the tile, and 70 some acres just take the normal corrugated yeah. Yeah. four inch tile. So, um, and Wayne that owns the company now, he figures all that out. Yeah, yeah. So. Smart, smart guy, smarter than you and I. Hey, talk about, um, you mentioned earlier, you know, those wet spots seem to be getting bigger every year. You're getting more and more rain. You had a lot of rain this year. Um, how important is it to be able to move water off this field? Well, uh, it's important not to have the hollows fill up with water. So if you can get the water out of those hollows in one day, 
you don't have any crop damage. But yeah. four days, it's going to take a crop on. So the other issue is uh, you do all this tiling. In a normal spring, you're probably four to five days earlier getting planted than without the tile. Yep. And, uh, and better, better nutrient uptake. It's about managing the water. Like, you know, if you're in Western Canada, they're worried about not enough water. Yeah. In Ontario, we're worried about too much water, but at the same time, managing that water right. in the soil profile. So, exactly. uh, and as I say, you, you have more working days, gonna be able to better manage your nutrients, right? Yeah. For yeah. sure. Better nutrient uptake. Same thing in the fall at harvest, you get that two inch rain, mm -hmm. uh, the water's gonna disappear in a couple of days and you eat back harvesting. Without that, you're maybe sitting for a week before you can run again without ruining the field, right? Right. So, awesome. So it's all good. Well, it's all good. and it's going to be better when you get started. So when are you supposed to wrap up? Um, with this job? Yeah. Um, well, they're golfing tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to say Monday or Tuesday mm -hmm. here. And then we've got a couple other smaller jobs. Yeah that basically are repair jobs right, right, that they're right. going to float to and uh, oh. correct. Larry, um, it's always great um, to visit with you and thanks for some insights into uh, some tile drainage you're doing here. Um, always great to see you on Real Agriculture. Well, good to see you. Yeah.